Hey guys, it's Aiko. I'm an American English pronunciation coach and business coach based in Hawaii. So today I invited one of my former clients who took my group coaching and also private coaching. Uh, so he's going to share his experience in my pronunciation coaching and how he was able to improve his English pronunciation. So Tsuyoshi-san, thank you very much for coming to my uh, YouTube channel. You're very welcome, Aiko. Yeah, thank you. So uh, quickly, would you please tell us what you do briefly? Okay, um, the I'm living in San Jose, California, and uh, my responsibility is to launch a new project and introduce uh, new our new items to the my potential customers as a sales rep, and. Uh, uh, also, my responsibility is to negotiate the price of lead time with the buyer from one of our existing customers. Yeah, something like this. And then, yeah, uh, my my prop, the purpose for uh, living living here in San Jose is to you know promote our items to the customers in, in US nationwide. Yes, the kind of things. Yes, thank you. So would you please uh, tell us how how your English was before taking my uh, pronunciation coaching? Okay, so the before taking the your coaching, the my pronunciation is like really Japanese accent. So the yeah, there are a lot of uh, people who don't understand Japanese accent in US. That's why yeah, I I was asked many times to what what you said or what did you say or something like this. So so oh yeah I'm sorry. So you have you have a lot of phone conversations too, right? Yeah. So still uh the yeah web meeting is yeah I have a lot of Web meeting and also the yeah recently face to face, -to -face meeting uh, yeah is also yeah happened a lot. Okay, wow! I am super happy that you found me <laughs> to, <laughs> to improve because it's kind of annoying to hear like people ask you to repeat what mm -hmm. you said like uh, right so yeah. um so then why did you decide to take my pronunciation coaching at that time uh so uh just because i'd like to improve my uh pronunciation skill and also uh, my listening skill because the yeah the meeting with like english native speakers uh will be really tough for me because they talk very fast real quick without the mercy <laughs> so uh, i couldn't keep up with the uh, conversation between them so the i just wanted to change the situation uh where where i was in the uh, the kind of things yeah Okay, I totally, totally hear you. So what started happening after taking my group coaching? Yeah, actually, my mindset uh, has been changed since the I, I'm taking your coaching because so uh, I had a habit to, you know, to do new things like, so uh, I used to run away uh, from the real conversation uh, by using email, email communication. And then, so I'm afraid of the calling or receiving call from the uh, English native speakers. <laughs> so that is a, one of my fears, but yeah, uh, <clears throat> after taking your coach, uh, yeah, uh, I, have a, I have a really uh, nice opportunity to, I try to uh, take opportunity to take a risk. Uh, to you know, uh, you know, interact with native native speakers. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, yeah, st stepping out of your comfort zone is mm -hmm. the first step to learn something new. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then I'm I, I'm because since I'm saying that to my clients, I try to I myself <laughs> always want to step out of my comfort zone to show yeah. what's possible and what I'm doing as a coach too. So that's good that you are you started um, like challenging yourself to mm-hmm. do something that you used to avoid right so that was good so how is your uh, pronunciation and listening skills right now uh is compared to the uh before uh, i take your coaching the, the like um <clears throat> the way to you know give a voice uh quite changed a lot and so uh i realized and uh, the the way uh we give a speech uh, is quite different between Japanese and English. So, so <clears throat> that is the biggest takeaway from the Aikosan. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm still learning. I'm still learning practicing uh, for the pronunciation. But yeah, I think the uh, the I can yeah Im- I could improve a little by little and day by day. So uh, thanks to you. It's, Wow, that's good. You told me that you were doing the, uh, you know, in a, in my material, there is module one, and then I mm-hmm. introduced the muscle exercises. And I told, I, I say in the lesson video, do this at least five minutes a day. <laughs> and <then> you <laughs> told me that you were actually doing that. Yeah, still do. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> How, <laughs> the, see, see, your dedication is the key right you're very very dedicated and then you were very <laughs> committed and then you say that you can improve more and then you still practice i am so happy to be surrounded by people like you because you always inspire me in so many ways so i feel like i i'm super lucky uh, thank <laughs> <that> you <laughs> i'm interviewing interviewing you today so um who do you recommend my coaching to and why so the i recommend the people who really uh, improve the would like to improve the english skill the or uh the, those who have uh, really specific goals to go out the uh, overseas, like America like, and uh, Australia or something, uh, like English native speakers, uh, like world. And uh, so the, yeah, I'm still struggling with the uh, working environment uh, to, you know, the interact with people uh, in English. But yeah, that kind of people, are really uh, eager to improve, and they they have a really uh, big goals to improve uh, their English skill. Yeah, those people are, are really recommended uh, taking Alexander's coach. Okay, thank you. How about who you don't recommend? <laughs> uh, like. Uh, I don't recommend uh, to people who don't have these specific goals. Like, uh, I just like to uh, like say, I'd like to uh, English uh, improve the English well, but I'm not sure when or, so I, I, would, I would learn the English tomorrow or next month or, or so. So everyone uh, want to improve uh, their English skill. But, uh, you know, that kind of people are really, uh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, the people like that in Japan. So, so like, I recommend the, uh, the people who has a really uh, specific goals and uh, try to, uh, you know, get out of the comfort zone from you know, current environment. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jill-san. So I'm super happy that you improved a lot, but I know you can improve a lot more and you know you can improve a lot more. So thank you very much for sharing your uh, experience in mm-hmm. this video and best wish- best wishes 
to your future career. I'm super excited for your next step, next I'm, stage. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.